how to use the search and find formula within Excel, but also to understand what is the difference between the two and what the result is when you use it. So when you type in either search or find, the first part in the parentheses would be find text. That is your text that you are looking for within a cell. Then you would indicate which cell you want to be analyzed. And the last part would be optional called start number. The result of this formula would give a numbered position of where to find the text within a string. So maybe you have 20 characters within a string. And when you look for that specific word, it will tell you that I find it on the fifth or on the tenth character position of that string. Now maybe you have the word type three times within a string, so maybe you don't want to know where the word is found the first time, but maybe a second time, and that is where you would use the last part called start number. So what is the main difference when you're using either find or search? The difference is find is case sensitive, whereas if you use search, it can either be in lowercase, uppercase, it doesn't matter. So when you want to be specific to how text is typed, then you would use find. If you are just looking for the word in general, then search is a good standard one to use. To better understand this, let's look at the example below. So here we have a text string written in cell B2, and you'll notice that within the string we have the word example that exists twice. So we will use that as the search criteria, and we will type in the first one not using a start number. So when it doesn't have a start number, it will start searching for your word from left to right and give the position of the first character of that word. Let us type in equal to search, open parentheses, find text will be in quotations so it will be example comma and then within cell b2 and as i said no start number so we will close the parentheses when i press enter it tells you that the word example has been found and the first letter of that word is in character position 34 from the left and that is the e right there now what you'll notice is as i said before search is not case sensitive therefore it was just looking for the word based on what you type. Let's again look at find. If we say the same, equal to find, open parentheses, look for example, close, double quotations, comma, check in B2, close parentheses, enter. Now we have a hashtag value exclamation mark, which is considered an error. Reason being is that the word example is present, but not in the way you typed it. Therefore, it cannot be found. This is case sensitive. We'll get into explaining that case sensitivity later. So let's go to the one with start number. Now we've got a scenario of where we have two examples. So maybe you already know where the first one is, but you want to find out where the position is of the second one. And this is where we will use start number. We will type in equal to search, open parentheses, look for the word example, double quotation, comma, in cell B2, comma. Now you want to make sure that it starts looking for the second word after the first one. You do not want it to start before this one. So we know that the first one starts at character 34. So I will type in any number bigger than that, but not too big that it might overlap with the second one. So I'll just type in 35, close the parentheses, enter, and it tells you that the second word example is found at character position 54. It starts right there where that E is. Let's use the find formula, equal to find, open parentheses, double quotation example, double quotations, comma, B2, comma. And as we said, we know that it's 34 is the first one, so we can type in 35, close parentheses, enter. And it still gives us an error because the second one, the example exists, but it is not written as required because this is case sensitive. So the good example here is to show you that in general, we would always want to refer to using the search formula because sometimes a lot of our text ends up being a mixture of the one shown above here where there's a mixture of lowercase and uppercase letters within one word but sometimes we also want to be sure that we are finding exactly what we're looking for and that is when we will want to use the fine one so i'll use the good example here we know that it is example with all lowercase so let me go into cell b2 and just change the first one to a small case of x and when I press enter, now it changes and tells you that it found. And that would be the same case with even if I change the 
capital P to a lowercase p, it found it as well. Go ahead and practice with this. The search formula in general is used for extracting information such as maybe a name, an email address from comma separated values from a cell. So you'll know where the first position is of that word and then you can later use other formulas within that to extract it. I hope this example really showed you the difference between the two and what's best to use in your scenario. Go ahead and give it a try and also if you would like to know more about how to use this in a certain situation or maybe you have further questions, please leave comments down below and I would really like to hear back from you. Thanks for listening.